So my work is about a reflection of my joy. And I really try and capture the joy that you feel when you're really present in nature. And uh, for me, that is actually at the cottage where we are now. It's been in the family for 50 years. It's been an integral part of my life ever since I was a kid. Um, and so I work really hard to try and infuse that feeling of deep-seated joy into the work um, in the hopes that when people buy the work and when they live with it for a long period of time, that they kind of get that same um, reflection from the work back to them that I sort of felt while I was creating it. And so because of that, I tend to work with colors that are uh, that are happy and joyful, but really part of my discipline is about looking at the shapes of nature, uh, the, the, the waves of it, the colors of it, to be able to kind of capture the essence, really, of water and land and plants and birds and butterflies and all the things that kind of are around you. Um, for me personally, I really uh, can only paint when I'm feeling joyful, and so um, I really need to be in that space where I have to feel joy, and to do that, I really try and be present and look at the things in my life that I'm really grateful for. And I have a lot of gratitude for being able to live in a place like this, um, having been able to experience it throughout all the seasons. Um, and that comes from the, the beautiful and dramatic sunsets right down to kind of like watching the crickets and the hummingbirds kind of the feeders. It comes from living here through multiple seasons, uh, which normally I don't because normally I'm in the city and being able to really see how nature survives through the winter and how it kind of comes up and is renewed with rebirth in the spring. And so all of those things really are um, capturing those things and really exploring them are a really important part of my discipline. So I just really hope that that, uh, that reflection of my happy place becomes your happy place. Encaustic painting is a 5,000 year old art using beeswax, pigment, and fire. I use these natural elements to infuse the source energy of water and the essence of nature into my art. In my studio, Experimenting with the unpredictable qualities of beeswax and its mercurial elements is the channel for my creative spirit to flow through. Like all impressionistic art, especially encaustic painting, creating my work requires letting go of every last bit of ego and allowing my spirit and my heart to guide me. With bold brush strokes, I patiently apply layer upon layer of molten wax onto a birch panel board. The painted beeswax creates a rough yet refined texture that I fire with heat and then smooth to a satin finish. Adding the elements, smoothing, heating, watching the beeswax and pigment combine becomes my meditation. Every layer of beeswax and each moment in time are fused behind and before, creating life's journey. Adding, smoothing, and heating again and again. When I see what I feel in my heart, then I know the artwork is done. I am humbled and inspired when you engage with all of your senses and are moved by my work, and touched deeply when I see the spontaneous feelings of peace that surrounds you. This is my gift, the gift of my art.
I never knew in my life that I would contribute or be grateful or even understood that my family influenced my art. The people that mostly influenced my art was my mother and my grandmother. They were both artists. The, from day one, they surrounded me with art and taught me about art. Their wisdom helped me through my journey. They helped me look at art in a beautiful way, as well as the natural surroundings. They showed me how beautiful things were. They also encouraged me that while I was creating to be patient, to be kind to myself, to not get frustrated when I was trying to create something and it wasn't turning out the way I thought it would. I am very grateful to my mom and my grandmother to have guided me through their experience of art so that I can dream and create my art, bring joy and calmness and happiness that I experience when I paint. I hope that my viewers also experience what I'm feeling when I'm painting. To be calm, to be patient, have joy. My name is Mary Johnston and I am a contemporary landscape and abstract artist. I work exclusively in oils. Uh, my work is very colorful and yet very serene. I love the materials that I use. I love the feel of the oils on the brush. I love all the different colors. I was always that kid that loved the, the crayon box with the 72 different colors that you could you could use right right out of the box and um, I'm just thrilled to be able to be that person that can be creative and yet make a living at what I love to do. I am from the North Woods of Northern Minnesota, Duluth to be exact, and grew up on Lake Superior, which has always been a muse for me, the beautiful colors of the the lake, the sunrises, the sunsets, the atmosphere, the different things going on. I love obviously a good sunset. I love a far horizon. Um, I have picked up on a lot of my travels. I've lived on the East Coast and the West Coast. Um, I lived in Southern California for a while, New Jersey for a while. And the, the colors over the ocean is very different um, wherever you go. The colors of the West, the the skies are very different in the West. Um, I have traveled extensively across the U.S. and just take it all in. Um, this country is very beautiful and there's a lot, it has a lot to offer, especially, you know, for someone who is, is very attracted to scenic beauty. Um, the United States is a very beautiful place. I'm Christina Sedano. I'm very fortunate as a painter to be living in California. If you take a look around, one of my passions is gardening. And if you see all the bright colors and all of this inspiration, I love to bring in my studio. So please join me in my studio so I can show you how I take the beautiful nature and surroundings that I have and bring that composition onto my canvas. There's something about a wonderful meditation and relaxation when I'm in here. When I start to design a painting and create the composition, I just focus so strongly on what I'm doing at that time. I get so immersed in my work. And I know when I am happy, what is coming out of that painting is going to be spectacular because I feel it in my heart. So when I was eight years old, my parents got me involved in private art lessons. It was amazing because it was one of my passions that I had as a little kid. I went away to college for fine art. I majored in illustration, but I concentrated on advertising just with the thought that I knew I could make a living in advertising. But if you look at me now today, 
I am a professional artist that's successful making my fine art paintings. The way I define success in my paintings is when I've created something for my clients and they are happy, that's what I call success. What brings me the most joy is when I have a painting that I've created and it's hanging in my studio where I present it to a client and they literally fall in love with it. 